Knock Clipper High friends, Darth Momo here to discuss Lego Star Wars The Free Maker Adventures Episode 5 The Storms of Twall. I don't know, this series has been kind of forgettable for me. It actually gets me to the point where I've got to look on Wikipedia again to remember what happened. Uh, I mean, sorry for not getting this out like a week ago when this episode aired, but I didn't get to see it until a few days ago, and then, wait, when did it air? Oh, good heavens, I don't even remember. Monday, Tuesday, a Wednesday episode, but I don't remember when I would have seen, oh, yeah, 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 I saw this at the, I saw it like a week after, wait, wait, wait a second, okay, yeah, I saw it like a week after it aired anyway, because I didn't have cable and all that crap, sorry for all that long wait, oh well, it's probably more interesting than the television show. At this point, I really just don't care. I mean, it, it's okay. I'd much rather watch Rebels or Clone Wars. But at the same time, this is geared for kids. And it's not canon. So there's very few things I should have to really be mad about, I guess. I don't know, I mean, the Rebel Soldier guy, oh, that's cool and all that, uh, they brought back the original actor, but that's kind of dumb when that he wasn't even the guy who said his lines in the film, you know, and then, uh, when Leland Chi had tweeted out saying that they were bring or retweeted that someone said they're bringing back a cast member who hasn't reprised this role since the original trilogy, I was hoping for something kind of cool, and, I mean, I guess, I don't know, and then Hondo, I, I don't know, oh, and the whole firefight in Maz Kanata's castle, that really pissed me off, because Maz didn't do anything about it, and that's her one rule, is no fighting, uh, but again, it's not necessarily canon, but also, it should have respect for the continuity, I don't know, there's really not much I liked about it, or I've liked so far about the season in general. I liked at first what it was doing with Vader and Palpatine kind of starting to show the distrust in their relationship play out. That was kind of cool, even though it was kind of kiddie. It was still kind of cool, the concept, but now they've just kind of ruined that. They're not even doing it anymore. So, and they've just kind of ruined the droid character because he's... He's way worse than General Grievous, my goodness. I mean, at least General Grievous was simply a cyborg who fought with lightsabers. This guy, he's got all sorts of freaking gadgets, and... Oh, well. I mean, at least Nare, that was practical. Oh, well. Anyway... Oh, sorry, uh, I've just been getting tired lately. I think the cane and the solar shields have been catching up to me. Now I realize it's going to be heck to 
important to movie maker. Anyway, um, back to the review. So, one thing I did really like about, or kind of like about this episode, though, and I remember my friend saying that he really liked about the show, and I'm starting to kind of like, or at least starting to grow me a little, is uh, the score. It's pretty good. But otherwise, you know, it's... I mean, I kind of like the exotic world that's bringing up. Those feel like Star Wars. Other than that, there's not really much I like. Oh well. Though even the main cast alone in it. And it's not canon. It's a completely geared towards kids, so I shouldn't be really complaining. Anyway, thanks for joining in, guys. Darth Momo, out. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, comment down below and hit that like button. Oh, and check out some of my other videos. I'm sure you'll find them in the light.